Hey Dick, happy Monday. Uh, so this is that cadenza that you were asking me about. Uh, you're really, really going to enjoy this uh, this vehicle. It's going to be an incredible car that's just going to absolutely blow your mind. This is the 2017. The 2017 cadenza comes available in three different trim levels. It's going to start off uh, in a premium. It starts in a, at pretty much a class leading, just under 33,000, 32 and change, uh, all the way up to uh, the fully loaded limited. You've got the technology in the middle and the limited on the top. That's going to come in in the approximately in the range of around 45. Uh, competes very, very competitively. Uh, in its class, and I'll go through and explain some of those features for you. Uh, not going to be, you know, uh, I know you were kind of uh, concerned a little bit about affordability. It's not the least ex uh, least expensive full-size sedan in the market, but when you look at the ones that are less expensive, they come with cloth seats, things like the uh, Nissan Maxima and the Chevy Impala. Those cars start off with cloth seats, and you have to upgrade quite a bit. Uh, the Cadenza, when I would get around to it, I'm going to show you, comes standard with leather at that entry-level price. So starting off at the front end, we've got uh, full LED lighting, okay? Both our fog lights and our accent lights and our headlights. Now that comes standard on the limited package and on our technology package, that premium is gonna have some halogen offerings down below for the fog lights. Uh, but you've got accent, Z accent lighting that ties into the belt line and it ties into the tail lights that I'll show you here in a little bit. There's also some, uh, some other important features on the front of the vehicle. You've got a radar sensor here behind the, uh, the tooth grill here in the center that is going to give you a lot of safety features. Uh, the benefit of that is it's going to give you advanced smart cruise control and it's also going to give you some safety features. When we get around to the driver's seat, I'll show you some of those safety features that you're going to have available that helps give you special braking and control and, and information about cars and vehicles in front of you. There's also some cameras, a camera on the front grill as well as cameras around that I'll show you as we, as we pursue that when you're parking the vehicle, both forward and backward, will give you a full surround view of the vehicle so that you can see where you're at in a parking space, in a garage, or how close you are to the curb. There's also some sensors up here on the windshield that are going to give you uh, the ability to keep an eye of, of where your lanes are at in the road, and some rain sensors. It's got rain sensing windshield wipers, so you don't have to fidget while you're driving. If you get caught in a rainstorm, it'll automatically turn those on for you. We're now going to take a look at the engine compartment. So, uh, there. The Cadenza comes standard with a 3.3 liter V6. Now, in comparison, that V6 is going to put out more horsepower and torque, 290 horsepower, 253 pound-feet of torque than the majority of the competitors in its class. May not be the largest uh, engine in the class or the highest horsepower, but it's going to be very, very much at the top. And when we take a test drive, you're going to find that it's got, uh, with an eight-speed automatic transmission, enough horsepower and enough torque to get you going, whether it's already on the highway at 75 and you need to pass, or whether you're simply merging on into some traffic and you wanna make sure you get out in a timely fashion. Um, so everything under here is very, very well appointed. Uh, lots of accent trim to, uh, to keep things clean. Tons of insulation on the hood, the firewall, full weather stripping all the way around to keep your, uh, your investment protected for a long-term fashion. Everything, if you're the sort of customer that likes to get under the hood every once in a while. Everything is a simple, simple function with Kia because their engineering is top notch. Everything you might need to touch and access, your engine oil is right up front. Your washer fluid, your overflow for the radiator, your brake fluid, they all use clear containers so you don't have to have a hard time reading or flashlights. You can simply, at a glance, know exactly what your fluid levels are. Uh, even simple stuff like your battery. Kia mounts your battery right up front. There's a lot of factory uh, companies, a lot of manufacturers that have began taking batteries and sticking them in cubby holes in spots that aren't just simply accessible for the owner. Uh, even simple stuff like changing an air filter that in the old days used to take a half an hour, 45 minutes. Kia has completely re-engineered the process. So any owner can change their air filter if they'd like with a simple 30 seconds uh, stitch and no complication. To access the hood, a simple lever right up front. You just pull that lever, it's got dual gas struts that will pop the hood open for you. Makes it very simple to access, very easy to reach. Uh, this engine has got uh, an aluminum block, an aluminum head, okay, so for better cooling and better uh, ability to dissipate heat, as well as it's got dual timing chains. There are still some companies, Dick, that use timing belts on their engines. Timing belts are built to fail. Timing chains are built to last the lifetime that you own the car. So you're gonna find that not only uh, is this car protected, and we'll talk about the warranty in a bit, but this car is built to last you as many years as you wanna drive it. So we're gonna come around now to the passenger side of the vehicle. 
the uh, the cadenza comes standard with aluminum alloy wheels you can either have 18 or 19 inch options depending on which trim level you choose this limited has got 19 inch smoked gray uh, multi-spoke aluminum alloy wheels they've got four-wheel disc brakes standard around the vehicle Okay, so you don't ever have to worry about paying extra for any safety equipment with Kia. All the expected safety that you'd like to get from a vehicle uh, is going to be there. And this cadenza receives not only the five-star crash test rating from the NHTSA, but also receives the highest ranking that it can receive from the uh, IIHS, which is a top safety pick plus. It's got multiple cameras uh, like we talked about on the front. There's one under each mirror as well as one around the rear that helps give you that projection uh, around the vehicle. It's got a glass roof that uh, is different from a lot of the competitors. Many competitors have the standard old-fashioned sunroof where they take a piece of metal and they punch a hole in it uh, and put a piece of glass. Those are noisy, they're small, they're also prone to leakage. Uh, a lot of customers, Dick, sometimes are not interested in a sunroof because they don't want to worry about leaks. Kia's panoramic roof is engineered and designed to not only stay quiet when you use it on the road, but also to give you a perfect seal. You'll never have a chance of having water on the inside of the car. So. Uh, we're going to come around now uh, towards the rear. This SX Limited um, has got a lot of features and functions around the rear end of it as well. Uh, from a visibility perspective, it's got a it's got a built-in uh, automatic sunshade in the back window. So uh, if you've got bright lights at night, if it's just a sunny day, maybe you've got uh, personal private stuff on the inside, uh, that vehicle uh, will have a shade that will come up and will stay up until you put the car in reverse and at which point it drops down so you get better visibility out the back window. Uh, it's got rear parking sonar sensors located across the rear so when you're backing up not only do you have the visual image from the camera but you have an audio image uh, or uh, sound as well that will update you and let you know how close you're getting the closer you get the faster it'll be uh, you've also got a, um, a smart trunk so when you come out from the store hands are full of stuff you don't have to fumble for your keys or uh, worry about setting things down in the rain or the snow. You simply approach the back of the car and after five seconds, it will automatically open the trunk for you. The Cadenza is also built with a power trunk when you go with the technology of the, with the limited package. That limited package gives you the power trunk so you don't have to worry about opening it or closing it when your hands are busy. You simply push a button and that car will function for you. It's got a 16 cubic foot trunk. Now, when you compare that with the market, but there's only one competitor that has a larger trunk. The Cadenza's trunk is very, very large, has a separate pass-through compartment, so if you have skis or something long, you've got that availability as well. Your spare tire, standard spare, is tucked underneath the rear floor uh, and gives you plenty of functionality and uh, uh, availability. Now, talking about the spare tire, we're going to start talking about the warranty. So, Kia comes standard with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty on its powertrain, 5-year, 60,000-mile warranty on the bumper-to-bumper, and a five year 60,000 mile period of which you get free roadside assistance. So that roadside assistance is gonna cover you for anything that's uh, not an insurance related claim. So if you have a flat tire, run out of gas, have a dead battery, anything that's really inconvenient that normally you pay for AAA for, Kia gives you more than $1,000 worth of AAA for free, including with their car because they wanna take care of you as a customer. So as we come around the driver's side, your driver's side is where your gas tank is going to be located. There's a couple of indicators inside the vehicle that will point that out for you. Uh, it's always located on the driver's side with Kias so that uh, it's easy to access and simple to refill your, refuel your car so you don't have to worry about uh, running around the other side of the vehicle uh, to refuel your car. That back sunshade that we talked about, you have a duplicate sunshade uh, in both of the back doors when you go uh, with the, one of the upgraded trims. It gives you additional privacy if you happen to have kids or grandkids, Dick that uh, you may have to risk having sun in their eyes. You've got that availability as well. It'll keep that sun out of their eyes. The back seats are uh, two-stage heated, high and low. Both the uh, outboard positions, it's a full five-passenger car. The outboard positions on both sides will heat, uh, heat the bottom cushion for you so that uh, they're comfortable as well. There's seven power outlets, power access points. A few of those are located in the rear as well. So uh, anyone who may be a riding passenger, they've got access to charge their electronic devices. There's also uh, climate vents in the rear, both under the driver and passenger seat and in the back of the center console. So everyone has the best ventilation for air conditioning and heat throughout the year. So coming around to the rest of the side, uh, we've got a, a lot of other standard stuff. Um, we talk about Kia and I've told you a lot about Kia. A lot of people are completely unfamiliar with the longevity that Kia has. Uh, JD Powers and Consumer Reports are finally starting to uh, broadcast 
and show customers just how reliable Kia is as a car company, but many people think that Kia is simply 10 or 15 years old. The truth is, this year, Kia turned 73. They were started in 1944, and Dick, they're one of the oldest Asian manufacturers in the market. They compete head-to-head -head with uh, their Japanese counterparts, and what you're gonna find is when you do research and studies, this car on paper comes out to be one of the top ones in the market. You look at Motor Trend, which has ranked it the number one uh, mid-size sedan in its class back in 2014. IIHS, uh, or I'm sorry, the uh, JD Powers. JD Powers just ranked it number one full-size sedan in the entire United States, luxury car companies included, for the highest reliability and the lowest number of problems. In fact, at 51 problems per 100 cars sold, the Cadenza actually falls into the category of being the highest quality car that JD Powers has ever tested. So it's a car that you're gonna be very, very impressed with and uh, that's really, really gonna appeal. This car has got a lot of safety features. It's got blind spot monitoring, which will watch your hindquarters for vehicles. And in the event you try to change lanes when somebody's there, the car will warn you through a blink and a chime interior to let you know so you, to help prevent an accident. There are many other features that you're gonna find inside of the car, Dick, that are also gonna help prevent an accident for you, okay? Some of those features are gonna be things that keep you inside of your lane. Some of those features are gonna be things that use the radar sensor that I mentioned earlier that's gonna watch traffic in front of you and it'll warn you if a collision is, is imminent, a forward collision warning system to help get your attention and in the event of an extreme emergency, at the very last second, it will apply the brakes without your intervention at all to try to avoid an accident at low speeds. It's a very, very impressive system. From a comfort per perspective, you've got uh, upgraded premium Napa leather available on this limited trim. It's got a very buttery, smooth texture to it and very soft. Uh, it's also uh, very, very simple to use. You've got controls located right on the side of the seat. Now this vehicle's got a two position memory system for the seat, your mirrors, as well as your power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So you don't have to fidget with a bunch of switches and levers to move things around. One simple button will make all that adjustment for you. The driver has the benefit in the limited of a heads up display, which gives a lot of driving information and navigation information right on the cast, right on the windshield, so that you're not being distracted by looking at the dash. The Cadenza comes with uh, simple to access features on the steering wheel for your cruise control, your trip computer, your stereo, so you're not uh, playing with buttons on the dash. Full voice activation run right through the steering wheel, as well as full integration with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which takes to the next level of technology from what everyone's used to is simply having a GPS navigation system. It gives you full cell phone functionality through the screen on the dash and the speakers in the car. You can access Siri or OK Google, as well as voice texting and a lot of other music features. Uh, so that's a really nice feature. Many of the competitors don't offer that. The Toyota, uh, the Toyota Avalon has nothing close. Um, and you're gonna find that not only is the Cadenza gonna be priced less, but is also going to out-function and out-feature all the competitors with more features and more benefits than anybody else. So uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get your information, we're gonna take a test drive, and uh, you're gonna see just how well this car handles when we take it out on the road.